Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on April 19th, 2025. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily New, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Considerably pretty, pretty quiet since the large M-class solar flare yesterday did produce a large plasma shot, as you can see, jetting from the southern hemisphere of our sun here. Looking at 304 angstroms incoming. This is where we see, we're seeing some large sunspot regions turn into view and as well cresting into view. We have yet to see them yet. Sunspot region that produced that M-class solar flare and the plasma shot is in a southern direction. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party. This is looking at the last 48 hours. A couple plasma filaments dancing around the surface. Be watching for those to either snap or destabilize. Multispectrum showing here the last 48 hours of events, pointing them out. Plasma filaments, minor solar flares. We did see a strong C class solar flare today. And as well, this big earth facing coronal hole, which is a southern coronal hole. The, this coronal hole wind stream could scoot underneath of us and bring a geostorm to the southern hemisphere, not much to the north. Another light here, 171 angstroms, just another amazing filter to see our sun. Thank you so much for pressing play. Thank you for being a part of this channel. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Here are the incoming sunspot regions. Right now, we have five that are Earth-facing. Current space weather conditions, R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected. Still from the strong C-class solar flare today, 378 kilometers per second. Our solar winds are pounding Earth. There is that strong M-class solar flare and as well moderate C-class today. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center is showing the velocity of this most recent coronal hole bottom diagram no new cmes into these models so nothing has been shot towards our planet just yet stay tuned having a look at lasco 3 showing the cosmic dance party our sun has produced for the past 48 hours watch in the southern part of our sun right there there's that huge plasma shot from the m-class solar flare Amazing images were shared here yesterday with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for all the support and love in all the chant, in all of the videos, comments, love, and support. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's more prevalent tonight, but really not too much to talk about. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. Is there still up above average about 230 according to USGS? But our planet looks peppered right now with earthquakes. Kermadec Islands right up into the Tonga region with a 5.3. No real deep earthquakes today. Largest being a 5.9 earthquake here. Malas Bang, Philippines. Followed by a couple sizable aftershocks, 5.2s. 5.7 here, rocking Ashakam, Afghanistan. Kamchatka there yesterday with the 5.4. Alaska seeing increased seismicity. And as well, even Greenland. Friends, Joseph Land, 4.2 magnitude earthquake. North American plate, no major swarms to talk about. Central America, activity coming back and a little bit concerning in the mid-Atlantic and towards Peru. 4.6, 5.2 there. Cocos Plate, 4.8. Mid-Atlantic Ridge and South Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.1, ranging to 4.8. Quiet across the African Plate, the last 24 hours. Let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Largest earthquake being the 6.6 .6 earthquake that struck the South Indian Antarctic Ridge. Southwest of Australia. You can see that big signature there. The big ring and all the elevated rings are showing the depths 
We haven't seen many deep earthquakes the last few days. We're going to be keeping an eye on that. Something may be brewing. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. A couple big eruptions, Kamchatka, parts of eastern Russia and as well through China, Japan, Mexico and Hawaii, Indonesia, New Caledonia. No new eruptions here to, to report or mass particulates, but interesting particulates sulfur dioxide emissions, and as well, dust particulates that are swirling all across the United States. I don't know if you, any of y'all noticed how dirty the rain was yesterday, but this is the culprit. All these multicolored cloud tops right now showing satellite imagery over the United States. Watch this dust storm come out of Albuquerque, or sorry, out of Mexico, moving right up into Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then another one forms in the state of Colorado, and all this dust was blown right into the system that just brought all the rain across the upper Midwest and northeastern provinces, or sorry, northeastern states, and as well, of course, Ontario. Where, as I said, we had some pretty dirty rain just yesterday. It was very spotty, but boy, it was muddy rain. And this is why. Look at these dust storms racing out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Colorado. They join forces here. And they get blown and thrown right into the low-pressure systems that were scooting across the United States. Wrapped up in pollen as well. I'm sure a lot of people who are affected by allergies are in full swing. And there's another one forming here in the long range. It's going to keep doing this. Strong winds coming out. Out of the East Pacific. Just wanted to share that with you. Big dust storms coming out of Mexico. Now let's have a look at world weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Interesting lows scooting up into Eastern Canada. Might bring some extreme weather. Other than that, there's going to be a big cold high pressure ridge moving in and a big low coming in from the north. Could see some cooler temperatures in the long range. Europe is going to see a couple strong lows and long range for United States. Extreme weather event for Ontario and as well winter event for western parts of Alberta and British Columbia. Higher elevations, of course. Overlooking Africa and Australia. No major cyclones or typhoons here forecast. Daily evaporation storms. Nothing major to report. Except for maybe a strong system affecting New Zealand in the long range. I hope you enjoy all these videos and information shared. Pretty sure you do because we've got almost 90,000 people subscribed. And I want to thank each and every one of you. I'm truly grateful to have you on board and a part of this community. Staying aware and prepared. Being a part of the awareness. I'm going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Big high pressure ridge still locked in off the coast of California. Keeping things very, very dry. Western United States. Much love everybody. More dust storms to come, I'm sure. If you enjoyed the show, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.